If I had visual snow and I approached a professional to manage my visual snow syndrome, I'd like to imagine that he or she would give me a barrage of questions um, involving the intensity of the snow itself, whether I see it with my eyes open or closed, what my ancillary symptoms were, and I would like that person to, as I said, a barrage of questions. We need a million clues to work out what's happening in visual snow syndrome. And that, that goes beyond the symptoms of visual snow. It extends to a whole of body experience. I'd want that person to ask me about those symptoms I talked about earlier, of derealisation, depersonalisation. The symptoms that I wouldn't necessarily associate with visual snow. Do I feel tingly sensations in my fingers and toes, for example? Do I feel pain unusually or differently to other people? What are my family members like? Do any of my family members also suffer from these symptoms? But not just visual snow, other sensory changes. And I would like the focus to remain on sensory symptoms, but a million of them. As I said, we need millions of clues before we can solve this incredibly difficult puzzle.